The purpose of this paper is to introduce a new way of measuring infrastructure development. But first I want to briefly explain why we need a new measure of infrastructure. Researchers have used measures of infrastructure in a, a wide variety of research, such as the spread of HIV AIDS, the distribution of forest elephants, and the future of China's development. Yet much of this research has depended on the Digital Chart of the World, or DCW, to measure infrastructure. The DCW is a roads data set, and its origins go back to maps made by the US, UK, Australia and Canada back in the 1960s. It was designed to help low altitude fighter jets to navigate. To do this, the creators of the ESRO were highly selective in their inclusion criteria. In densely populated areas, they would remove data to help the pilots. But in sparsely populated areas, they would include as much information as possible. We can see some other issues with the D DCW. For instance here, looking at the Chad-Sudan situation, we see roads which disappear when they reach the border. Similarly, in DR Congo, we see roads which disappear when they reach the equator. And in Somalia, we find strange, inexplicable grids. This means the DCW is completely unsuitable as a means of measuring infrastructure. Instead, the new measure in this paper is to use map data from Google, Bing, OpenStreetMap and Sinomaps to create a measure of infrastructure complexity. It's really simple. If you have a spatial data grid, then you can send requests to the format servers to see how complex the map is in each of your grid cells. The methods are outlined in the paper, but just for now, let me show you what some of the measures look like. Visually, the new measure looks like nightlight data, and there is a degree of correlation. But the new measure allows us to work at a much more granular measure than with nightlight data. This means if your analysis is in a very small area, like here, the Osaka Bay, you can perform your analysis at a very high resolution. So that's the new measure. It's easy to use, and you can find the data on the Harvard Dataverse site, my own website, and our users can use the infra package available on CRAM. Thanks for your interest.